Okay, but like, be serious. Test, 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 test. Pictured as the offensive coordinator of the Patriots. Mr. Donahue, Coach Donahue. He has led the team to four straight wins behind a stellar offense between Xavier Stern. Exactly like the tactics of a young Pep Guardiola. An offensive tactic that just pushes the players forward in a full hail offense. So look forward to the offense.
Okay, we're good. Welcome to Cary Stadium. I am Harrison Steinberg, joined along by my co-host, Adrian Diem. It is a beautiful night. It is a cool 62 degrees, no clouds in the sky. It is a perfectly cool, perfect day for weather. We are here at Cary Stadium to see the Petty Falcons, who are 2-1 at the Germantown Academy Patriots. This is the first ever Friday night-like game in Germantown, history, Germantown Academy history. They poured it in the new lights just for tonight. It's going to be a good game. What do you think, Adrian? I think it's going to be a great game. See, the boys are fired up. I'm, I'm hoping Petty's also fired up. should be a great game. You want to see a good game today? I want to see a good game. Do you want to see a good game? Yeah, of course. So we got a boys varsity soccer player, starter for the team, Adrian DM. He will have a huge game tomorrow night. This will be live streamed on the YouTube. So how are you excited for you for tomorrow? I'm excited for tonight. It's our first night game ever. should be piped up. Piped up, great. yep. All right. So here we have the kicker, Cole Grimm, wearing number 22. He's a kicker punter junior. He has a huge leg. Every single one of the kicks goes to the end zone. The student so section is going nuts right now. All right, John, I want you to call this because I know he's your friend. I'm waiting for the bomb here. I know, I see, I know what this kid has. He can hit a touchback right now. He's hitting multiple consecutive touchbacks throughout history. Let's see what he does here. Nasir Hennigan to return at the bottom of your screen. And Jacob Medivar at the top. Ooh, a little chip. It's a squib kick. A bounce as is taken by Medivar. He cuts right. But it's a huge. Oh, he's still on his feet. Cuts right. Oh, and he's still on his feet. He's breaking right. two tackles. But he's eventually forced out of bounds. That's the kicker, Cole Grimm. What a tackle by Cole Grimm. I think that's his first tackle. I, 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 that's his first tackle. It looks like it might be, but yeah. that's a huge Tackle by Cole Grimm. And that will push the Petty Falcons out of bounds. They will have a first and 10 from their own 34 yard line. Now this is a occasional matchup between these two teams. They play roughly every year or so. So what do you want to see this first drive from the Patriots on defense? I want to see Zach Nees get a sack. Tell me about Zach Nees. What do you know about him? Zach Nees, he's a big dog on the on the D line and the O line. Number seventy nine. He plays right guard on the O line. On the D line, I believe he plays. He's a nose tackle. Gets a lot of sacks and a lot of TFLs. Refs blow play dead. It looks like a infraction on the offense. That'll move him back five yards. It'll be first and fifteen for the Falcons. The receiver that you're about to scream, that's Sean Corchado, a sophomore, excuse me, junior. 
And their running back is Nasir Hennigan, who was on that kick return, but did not get the ball. Snap, handoff to Hennigan. He moves his feet as he cuts left, but he's eventually dragged down. That's number 52. That's number 52, Robbie Boudreau. The sophomore on the tackle. Jacob Medivere, another player to look out for, the senior. So Adrian, what'd you like from that play on defense? I liked how they closed those gaps really early, not letting him get through. It's an easy tackle in the end. That's Merritt Fisher, the quarterback. Hennigan in the backfield. Snap to Fisher. He drops back. It's a three-step drop. Looks right. It's a oh, huge long. throw. That's intended for Medivere. Just an overthrow. Went long. Great defense. That's number 12, Mick McKee. The recent transfer, the sophomore. Transfer. Yeah, new transfer. What would you think about that defense? I thought he locked him up pretty well. I thought he locked him up pretty well, not letting him get through, resulting in the overthrow. OBA, third and 16 after the five-yard penalty and one-yard loss caused by Robbie Boudreau. Now, this is where they need the student section. We haven't seen this at many GA football games, but now it's bigger than ever. We need them to get loud for tonight. This atmosphere is it's great. It reminds me a little bit about Anfield. Anfield in London. <laughs> Anfield <laughs> Excuse me, in London. Liverpool. Anfield in Liverpool it is a very reminiscent <laughs> atmosphere. Fisher rolls right. He's looking up. It's a quick throw. Intended for number oh. nine. That was Corchado, but almost intercepted by Mick McKee as he dove for the ball. That's a fourth down for the Falcons. Fourth and 16. Wow, just some great defense for the great Patriots. Team. Great defense. We've seen that all year, haven't we? Yeah. Forcing a punt. They do it a lot. So that's Mick McKee on the punt return. How many yards do you think he'll get? On the punt return, Mick yeah. McKee, I think he'll get, if he doesn't fair catch it, I think he'll get at least seven yards. Seven yards, okay. That's the over-under. Over under seven yards. Falcons look to confuse the sideline because they do not have a punter on the field. They do not have a punter on the field. The punter jogs on, but they have to call a timeout as the play clock is winding down. Fortunately, the Falcons did not field a punter. You know, we don't see that with GA, you know. Oh, Cole Grimm's always ready to hype one down the line. Cole Grimm is always ready to make the best kick possible. We saw a lot of those last week. Yep. So both teams confer to the sidelines as Petty honestly waste their first time out. How many times have we seen that happen ever? How many times have you seen that? Not very often. Not very often. All right. So tell me what you're looking forward to the game tomorrow, which will be streamed on live on YouTube. I'm looking forward to a great close game, hopefully ending in a Germantown Academy win. Looking from a goal from our star, Aiden Trebosh. To kick off, it is Jacob Medivere, the wide receiver combo with a punter. Patriot rush eight. It's a line drive punt. It would not even be attempted to turn by my key as it rolls out of bounds. The ref marks it down at the 42-yard line as the Patriots take over first and 10. That would never happen with Cole Grimm. Yeah, Cole I don't think Grimm. I've ever seen Cole Grimm do that. Cole Grimm always has strong, big punts. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. They're always very high. And they're always about... Probably 50, 40 yards. They're always great. At quarterback, the sophomore, Xavier Stern. Xavier Stern has thrown a lot of touchdowns, to be frank. Over 10 now, at least. Stern drops back. Oh, it's caught. That's Great George Wren. It's Georgie football. He cuts left. He's out of the field. 20, 15, 10. He's forced out of, out of bounds. Forced out of bounds by number nine. That's Sean Corchado. But it's first to go Patriots. Stern drops back, laid a dime to Wren as he came in for the slot. Crossed left. And he had nothing but green grass as the Patriots are down inside the 10. It'll be first to go from the nine-yard line. We'll German get back to that play later. Germantown Academy has a great wide receiver one. Stern, handoff to Seamus Knox. He cuts up the middle. It's a gain of half, maybe one yard, a second and goal. So tell me about that play by Georgia Wren. What'd you see there? I mean, you can see he cut his man. He lost his man wide open. Great pass from Xavier Stern. 
and then he just jukes left, Second runs goal. down the line, gets a ton of yardage for Germantown Academy. It's great analysis by Adrian line. Diem there. We have Seamus Knox remains in the backfield with Xavier Stern. Play action fake, looks right. Pass complete to George Rent, but he's lit up by number five, Ishan Matal. It will be third and goal Patriots after the quick snap to Stern and a quicker throw to Arendt. That's the second catch on the day already. Third and goal from the five yard line for the Patriots. Knox remains in the backfield. I'm thinking a little touchdown here from AJ Towson. Towson at the bottom of your screen. It's a high snap. It's a fumble. fumble. It's out. It's still out. Oh my God, it's trickled out. Oh the Petty God. Falcons recover it, and they have the ball at their 43 yard line. Wow, what an insane play. The snap goes wow. over Stern's head. It's a wet ball. It's a rainy night. It's a wet ball. It was a rainy night. So the snap went over his head, and it trickled down. The Falcons set up a possession at the 40, 32 yard line, first and 10. So Adrian, have you? How many times have you seen that? That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that this season in any of the GA football games. Yeah. So the Patriots cannot even get a field goal out of that, as the Falcons start to move the other way. That play felt like they wasted Georgia Rent's great run. Yeah. Truly. In the backfield, Hennigan, quarterback Fisher. Snap goes to Hennigan. Cuts up the middle, but it's a good tackle. It's a combo tackle included by number 52, Robbie Boudreau again. <laughs> Second and eight, Falcons. Some solid run stuffing again, right? Yeah, great run stuffing. First in the D-line, we have Zach Neese leading the D-line. Yeah, and a player to look out for is the middle linebacker, Eddie McGettigan. At the last home game, he had a huge fumble recovery touchdown. I know you saw that. What did you think about it? I saw that. It was a great. Ran it for like 90 yards for the touchdown. But Eddie McGettigan is replacing. Play action. Pass high. Caught. Breaks the tackle. But he's brought down. That's Fisher to Corchado. But he's eventually dragged out for a first and ten. Just a... Great high throw. We see those often from this team, right? Yeah. Teddy throws a lot of lobs, but I feel like GA can pick one of those off. Yeah, we have some great, great cornerbacks with Sean McGettigan, A.J. Towson, and Nick McKee. Hennigan, the tailback. Motions left for an inside zone look. He moves right for a bubble. Fisher looks up, but it's a pass complete. Takes a few patients, drag him down, but it's a fumble, the ball is out! The ball is out! The ball has been recovered, that's number four. Timmy number Ginter four. with the recovery. Timmy Ginter, the son of the athletic director. A great fumble recovery. Showing he, his love to the fans. He holds up the turnover belt as the GA cloud gets a little more routed than they were already. So it was a quick pass, and it was stripped. I, I couldn't tell you who, but Tim Ginter came out with the fumble. Patriots now at first attempt for the road, 42-yard line, so maybe they have some offense to come out. High snap. Handoff goes to Anthony Lara. He has quick feet. He cuts right, and that's the first down. No, the ball's out. No. No, the Anthony ball was not Lara out. holds on to it. Sorry, I think I was seeing something up here, but Lara holds on to the ball. Excuse me. First and 10 Patriots. Lara's a very good agile running back for yeah, two-headed monster, truly, from GA with Lara and Knox in the backfield. Can't Knox, more of a power back. On senior night. Yeah, it is. You could call it senior night. Towson and Rennett dubs at the bottom of your screen. Lara remains in the backfield. Hand off to Lara. It's an inside zone, but he cuts right. He stays on his feet as he rolls out of a tackle. The offensive line pushes it forward. It looks like a second and one or short. He was brought down by a combination of Noah Bizrat and Ray Murwa. So, great run by Lara again. What do you think? Great, great run. That's what, that's what we expect out of him. That's what he puts on the table. Okay, so now we see number 17, Max Langsfeld, the senior, at the bottom, and Georgia Rent in the slot. So, what do you think we're going to see here? 
I think we're going to see Georgia Rent made a cutting run. But it's an inside zone to Lara as he cuts left. That would be, be a for sure first down, first to 10 on the 30. Lara's brought on the field for Seamus Knox. You think Jack Westcott's going to have a big game today, the junior tight end? The junior tight end, he's a very tall, very tall student and player. I think he could get some catches up tonight, get some good yardage. Play action fake, quick pass right. A little possession catch going down so he doesn't get. That's complete to number, number 11, A.J. Towson, as he falls down to keep a hold of the ball. Number five, Jake Balicki is being brought on the field for number 26, Jack Westcott. Balicki at the bottom of your screen, the sophomore. Snap to Stern. It's a high snap, but it's handed off to Seamus Knox. Stays on it looks, his feet. Yeah, it looks like he was dragged down, but he stays on his feet, OBA. Second and two. Excuse me, third and two. So this is a pretty strong couple of drives other than that fumble, but what do you think? I think they're going well. They're getting yards. That's what we expect out of them. That's what we hope. We've seen this before. It is Knox in the backfield. Langsfeld in motion. Quick snap. Goes to Knox. He barges up the middle, but there's no room to run. It will be a fourth and one, maybe fourth and short two. I think they're going to go for this, or are they going to kick a field goal? I think they're going to go for it. Coach Matt Dunst, in his many seasons, is a risky and smart coach. So it will be a fourth and one. The more... Agile receivers are being brought on the field for a more tight end look. At tight end, it's Timmy Ginter and Jack Westcott. They load the line, same as the Falcons. They look to the sideline. Lara moves to the right. Looks like a seven-man rush for the Falcons. Looks like they were just trying to draw the Falcons offside. And... They might be kicking the field goal on fourth and one, or they might just be needing more time to talk over. What do we think of offensive coordinator Kyle Donahue? I think he's a great coach, and he's proved that. And every year he's been here, he's had strong offensive plays with obviously with some help from the offense. But it all starts with the offensive coordinator. I know you have a pretty personal connection with him. Are you? Who are you? The leader of the club? You're the leader of the club. Of what club? Tell me. History club, Mr. Donahue. You are the leader of history club, and Mr. Donahue is the staff member. He's faculty leader. Any vice presidents or? Secretaries? Our vice President Junior, Nathan Richards. So a strong junior. tandem of history club leaders. So okay. if you're ever Sir in the you, vicinity. Kyle Donahue to, also has great past experience playing. Yeah, he was the, the quarterback receiver. here. Wide he receiver? Played wide receiver at Dickinson. Oh, wide receiver at Dickinson College. So a what, D1 athlete? D3 athlete. Same thing. Fourth and one, J lined up in the same set. Lara moves to the left. I'm seeing an inside zone. Do you agree? I agree. I wouldn't see it any other way. That's Westcott in motion. One. High snap. It's to Lara. He pushes up the middle. It looks like the refs are ruling a first down. First down, Patriots. Down. First and 10. They all moved the chains after a successful play call and run by Anthony Lara. Just great play, right? Great play. Simple football. What do you think, you think they should have done the tush push? Popularized by Jalen Hurts? I don't know. Maybe they could have done the tush push. George oh, it's Aaron. A pass up the middle. That's Georgie football. Georgia Rent. Touchdown. touchdown. 20 yard touchdown. That's another touchdown for Georgia Rent. That is over five touchdowns this season already. Six to zero Patriots. Great celebration by Georgia Rent right there. What do you rate that I celebration? That. I rate that at least a cool eight, nine, and ten. That you hear, you're here to hear, folks. First, folks, eight out of ten celebration for Georgia Rent and a ten out of ten play call. Quick pass up the middle. You have Jared Stern. Smith taking the field goal. That's good. The PAT is good. That's what we expect out of Jared Smith and Cole Grimm, both stellar kickers. Yeah. So going back to that play, what do you think about that route from Georgia Rent from the slot? That route from Georgia Rent was great. He beat his man, left him wide open with a lane to the touchdown. Correct. So now the score is 7-0 Patriots. We got, looks like, 448 left in the first quarter. Patriots lead 7-0. So a pretty strong start. We got two drives that went to the red zone, obviously one scoring. But we haven't seen any of that even close to 
of petty football, correct? No, not even close. I don't think they've gotten within 50 yards of a touchdown. So we got Cole Grimm, the iron leg, as I've nicknamed him, ready to kick. After that last little squib chip, I'm expecting a bomb touchback. Cole Grimm kicking off from their own 40-yard line. Metaver and Hennigan back to return for the Falcons. Slow walk back for Grimm. Couple steps to the left. And now he is ready to kick. Cole Grimm, number 22. Cole Grimm steps up. It's a quick run up. Oh, it's an onside kick. It's a design play by the Patriots. Did, did the Patriots get it? The Patriots get it? No, the Falcons have got it. It was a great play by Cole Graham. Unfortunately, the hands team cannot recover. Just, again, a great play by Cole Graham. Great play by Cole Graham. The GA was so close to getting that football for the onside. You honestly could not place a better kick than that, Cole Graham. So, hats off to you. Yes. A very important defensive line for the Patriots. We got Robbie Boudreau, Zach Neese, Jack Westcott, and also number 54, John Damasi, the senior. A very strong defensive line that GA prides itself in. Wow, I think the stands are shaking. Do you feel that? Stands, the atmosphere is great. As you can see, the student section is packed. This is the most packed we've ever seen it. It's a bubble screen complete to Hennigan. No, it's dropped. It's dropped. Excuse me, it was dropped by Hennigan. I got a little ahead of myself. But a great swarm by the Patriots. Second and ten. So what do you think about Molloy Lafferty's injury? I know he's an important part of this Patriots defense. He's so tell me a little bit about that. I believe he plays the left tackle. That's correct. He's an important part. I think, think Edemi Gettigan is filling his spot today. But Molloy Lafferty unfortunately hurt his back oh, before just terrible. this game. And he is currently he was at the doctor's today, right? I believe so. Yeah, so he's definitely getting that checked out, looking for, wishing for a swift recovery. Snap, rolls left. That's Fisher. Looks up the field. It's a cross-body throw. It's deep. Off. Did he hang on to that? That pass was intended for Corchado, but it's incomplete. <laughs> it's incomplete intended for Corchado. Great defense by AJ Towson. Back third and 10, 434 left to go in the second quarter. 7-0 Patriots. What what do you see? What do you see in this play from the offense? the offense? Some slants? A crosser? Comeback? I think they're gonna run the ball. I think they're gonna run it. They do have a strong rushing attack with Hennigan. Play action. It's a play action up the field. Pass was intended for Corchado. Unfortunately, a little overshot. Came near the safeties of Anthony Lara. Fourth and ten Falcons. Another three and out. Mick McKee remains on the field and runs back to return. So it looks like that this time around, the Falcons have remembered to keep their punter on the field, haven't they? Yes, they are. Medivy, sorry, Medivya, as I have in my notes, is ready to kick. He's a combo player, kick returner, wide receiver, cornerback, and punter. It's a quick snap. It's a high, but swift kick. It's returned by Mick McKee. He cuts left as he thinks about it. Back up the middle. Unfortunate, yeah, great punt return. Unfortunately, he did not stay on his feet, but the Patriots have the ball in the even 50, first and 10. What are we looking for this drive? I'm looking for a long touchdown to A.J. Towson. Huge, huge touchdown to A.J. Towson? Yeah. All right. He can get up there. He can catch the ball. I want to see it. How many completions will Xavier Stern get on this drive? Do you have an over or under? Runder four. All right, I got. I think I got the over on that. Xavier Stern, an extremely accurate quarterback, showing some shades of Tom Brady. Would you say that might be a little pushing it? But he's definitely got. Potential. I disagree. This is, you know, it's our little GA comparison. It's a handoff to Anthony Lara. Cuts up the middle. He's quick and he stays on his feet. He falls forward. It'll be a second and two Patriots after the strong run from Lara. 
So what do you think about this comparison? We got George Rett, Georgie football compared to someone like Tyreek Hill. What do you think? They're both quick. They're both quick. They're they both, both can catch. Quick. They, can, they can both catch. They can both move Six, off seven, the ball. Seven, and AJ Towson more of like a, you know, AJ Brown, you know, they share the yeah. first name, you know. Physical receiver can get out there, but is also very quick. Stern rolls right. Looking, it's up the field. That's AJ Towson. It's intended for. Oh my God! Did he catch that? AJ Towson what, with the catch. What a catch by AJ Towson that puts the Patriots inside the seven-yard line. An amazing route. It's a route that one might see on Madden. It's a so-called chair route. Takes a stop and go move up the right sideline. Complete to AJ Towson. First and goal from the six, maybe seven-yard line. Quick snap. Stern looks right. It's a quick screen. That's AJ Towson again but he's dragged back and forced out of bounds. A gain of one, maybe two. Second and goal, Patriots. So like, tell me about that play, about that great catch by A.J. Towson. Great catch. I feel like I called it. I knew he can get up there you and knew catch it. that ball. We got to say you almost Randy Moss that game. Right, amateur Tony Romo here, you know. Is it your dream to be an announcer? <laughs> it's my dream to be a commentator. Isn't it? You got Xavier Stern. Ready to snap. Towson and Rent, good buddies at the bottom of your screen. Hand off to Laurie, he cuts right. He tries to follow up the middle. It's a gain of two yards. Third and goal for the Patriots from the four, maybe long five yard line. We are hoping for a touchdown here, but the least we can get away with it. If you were the offensive coordinator right now, what would you do? Would you run a screen play, some slants, a play action rollout? I think I'd run some slants. Give me some quick guys. It's George Ren. I yeah. feel like we get flip the ball to him. Yeah, I mean, Drew Brees could do it with Michael Thomas, so why can't Xavier Stern do it with George Arendt, you know? Yeah. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I am picking up. Yeah, that's why dogs bark and cats meow. Snap is to Stern. Looks left. It's a quick throw. That's A.J. AJ Towson. Towson with a touchdown. A.J. Towson touchdown, 13-0 Patriots. Now, I think you were calling that a slant route. That. Slant route straight to A.J. Towson. Towson started at the bottom of your screen if you want to replay that and came right up the middle. The bench is going erratic. 13-0 Patriots. I mean, you, you did protect a I good drive. After this, you... Sorry, excuse me. A.J. Towson celebrating with the student <laughs> section here. <laughs> That's right. They're you predicted a... Up. With a great kick from J-Mo. That is true. Attempt. You did predict a good drive, but unfortunately, Stern had three completions. But, you know, it came in a touchdown, so that's better. You took the over. That's better. I probably would have took the under. All right, all right. So, I guess, what, are we tied 1-1 on? I would say so. This is just a friendly wager. No money involved, of course. Another player to look out for is Ryan Strauss, isn't he? Yeah, Ryan Strauss. He's a dog. He plays a lot of special teams. He's a huge player, you know. Uh, he is the gunner sort of equivalent to Devin Hester, you know. He's quick. He's fast. He's agile. Great camera work by our cameraman, Danny Gass. <laughs> you got to give a shout-out to Danny Gass. Yeah, let's give man a shout-out to Danny camera. Gass. Man in the camera back yeah, there. Yeah, he, and we also have our man in the chair. Max Davis, similar to Ned from Spider-Man. Ned Leeds, I believe, his last name. Yeah, would, would, you, would you consider yourself an accomplice? If you know what I mean, you know? It's a, it's a joke from the movie. But, okay, now we got Cole Grimm back up to step for the kick. Cole Grimm looking for the bomb here. I want to see the touchback. Last nope. two kicks were one was a pooch, and one was an unsuccessful onside kick. Obviously not on him, you know? One of the best kickers I've ever seen, you know? Comparable to someone like Justin Tucker. Huge leg. Grimm to kick. He's ready to step up. He points left, points right. Ref blows his whistle. Cole Graham, quick step. It's another, another onside kick. The pitchers are confident. It's a high tip. kick received by the Falcons. He's lit up. He has lit up. Lit up like Ray Lewis. That is number 24, Jet Dickerson. He absolutely lit up number three, Shane Patel. Absolutely lit him up. And that's what gets the crowd going these days. You know, you know, you yeah, you're right. Who that remind you of? What Ray kind of Lewis? That did remind me of Ray Lewis. He did, you know, there was the shoulder putting his whole body to his head. When in low, yeah, when in low. You know, now you see like someone like Brian Dawkins. You know, yeah, Eagles legend. 
Wow, they, the student section is going crazy. That's all it's I can say. It's wild out there. <laughs> Hennigan, the running back. Quick handoff to Hennigan. He has big legs and he's moving up quick. Second and one Patriots. He's dragged down by a combination of George Arendt and Robbie Boudreau. Boudreau and Arendt on the tackle. Refs say they move the sticks. First and 10 Patriots. Excuse me, first and 10 Falcons. 14 to zero Patriots. Looking like a blowout. <laughs> so what do you like more? A fumble recovery touchdown or a pick six? I like a fumble recovery touchdown, especially when it's like a D line. Okay. Someone rare that gets the touchdown. It's always fun. Right. So you like to see someone like Zach Neese take one back to the Zach house. Zach Neese get the touchdown. I heard he's gonna do a little blicky as a celebration. <laughs> yeah, um I heard his odds for a touchdown is only plus one fifty. I was really surprised. I mean, Zach Neese never got a touchdown before, but seems like he is a favorite to score a touchdown today. What do you think? Yeah, I think he is a favorite. I would love to see him play as a fullback almost on like the one yard line. Just ran sort of like through. Don Terry Poe. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about Zach Neese and his stellar nose tackle ability. Zach Neese, he's a great player in the backfield. Obviously very big. But he uses that to his advantage. Really wrap people up, take them down, and get the occasional sack. Yeah, he does get a lot of TFLs. Um, I, I mean, I, I would give him a relative comparison to someone like Clutcher Cox, you know, oh, Hall of Famer, you know. I, I mean, if Zach Neese does get into the NFL, I see him also as a Hall of Fame I nose see, tackle. I, I see his way to the NFL. Or he wants to play D1, maybe at Penn State. <laughs> so, what do you think about the drive right now? What do you think about the drive right now from the Falcons? Falcons? I don't think they're going to make it very far. Maybe with this GA defense right now, they're playing really well. Quick handoff to hand again. But he has a huge lane up the field. He's dragged down by Anthony Lara, but the Falcons move the chains. You know, GA has played a good bundle of good running backs, especially against Archbishop Wood, which GA won 31 to 20, thanks to two touchdowns by George Rennan, a huge fumble recovery touchdown by Eddie McGettigan. So, what was going through your mind when Eddie McGettigan returned that football back 95 yards for a touchdown? I was hyped. It was a great play. Obviously, a rare one that happens, but they're always so yep, fun yep. to see 90 plus yards fumble recovery. I believe he was the man of the match that game. Man of the match, yep. Let's get up a orange promo card. <laughs> Hand off to Hannigan. Oh, he's still on his feet. He cuts left, feet. and he looks like he's going to be gone. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown oh. Falcons. Falcons. That's Hannigan. He's been unstoppable this whole drive. He really has. He's been everywhere up and down the field. What do you think about that, Adrian? My prediction may not have been correct. It might not be a blowout. This could be a close game. 43-yard rushing touchdown by Hannigan. So, it is. this is now Xander Baptiste, so a kicker who does not punt. Let's see if he makes it. What do you think? You want to get a little loud for the fans? I think. Oh, it's blocked. blocked. And it's short. No good. Off the crossbar? Was that off the crossbar? Looked a little under. It would be 14-6 Patriots. So that kind of reminds me of GAPC day last year with yeah. who were who you want to remind me who blocked I, that kick? I'll remember who blocked it. Was that Knees. Kick. It was Zach Knees. It was Zach Knees. Zach Knees. That's what we expect from him. Yeah. Zach Knees. He's a dog. He and loves the block. And honestly, like that is the minimum we get from Zach Knees. So I mean sometimes we get sacks, TFLs. And so 14-6 Patriots. We actually GA prides itself in having the best kicker, two best kickers in the interact. J-Mo and Cole Grimm. You know, it's tough to see them on the same team because you want to see both of them take all the Yeah, kicks. both of them would be starters on any team. On any team, but we have, we have the great advantage of having them both on our team. Falcons are ready to kick. Mick McKee and George Arendt are ready to receive the kick. Kicker is number six, Xander Baptiste, the junior. Baptiste to kick off for the Falcons. Oh, wow. The Falcons players are getting rowdy, hitting their heads 
into their hands. Bomb. Bomb, but McKee is ready to, take, is it. Ready to take it. He's, he's got a good set of blocks. He's quick, too. Blocks. But he's Four unfortunately he's still, he's oh, still on his feet. feet. He's on his feet. Wow, what a wow. great return. Great return, especially with the set deck getting blocked. But he, he holds on, giving the Patriots an early advantage. Unfortunately, it was forced out of bounds, but the Patriots do have a first and 10 at the 32-yard line, so better than a touchback. Definitely better than a touchback. Less than a minute remaining in the first quarter. Less than a minute in the first quarter. 14-6, Patriots is the score. It's been a solid first quarter for the Patriots. Let's it is a beautiful night. A little bit of drizzle, but. A little bit of drizzle, but it keeps it cool. That is number five, Jake Balicki running to the top of your screen. Our rent in motion to the slot. Handoff goes to Lara. Cuts right. Second down, Patriots. Excuse me, that was Seamus Knox, Take not Anthony Laura. No, wait, no, that was Anthony Laura. I'm, uh, I'm just fooling myself. Second and six for the Patriots here. Clock winding down, 33. Left to go in the first. Knox now in the backfield. A rent in motion. Play action. It's a screen pass. It's a, it's a low pass, but it's complete to McKee, but he's McKee dragged down. Ooh, wow, down. he's lit up, cracked in the mouth. It up by number 65. Yeah, that is. 55, sorry. Kunle Olin IG with the tackle. Six seconds to go. Patriots want to get the snap off, but they won't. That's the end of the first quarter. 14 6 Patriots. I'm here with my co-host Adrian Dan after a great first quarter. The score was 14 to 6. So tell me about the touchdown about Georgia Ren to start off the game. Georgia Ren, he made a cutting run, caught the ball with open space, cut left, and with an open lane for the touchdown. And the second touchdown by AJ Towson. What tell me about that as well. AJ Towson, before previous to the touchdown, he caught an absolute bomb. I believe it was like 30, 40 yards. 30 yards, yes. Lossing a kid. Lossing a kid. And then in the following play, runs a slant. Runs a slant, gets himself open, and secures the touchdown. It was a great Patriots. stop and go route by AJ Towson. Xavier Stern has been dealing passes today, and a great touchdown by the Falcons. A 43 yard touchdown run by Hennigan. So, what do you think about that? We left some gaps in the defense. They let him through, and there's consequences. But overall, a very strong showing by the Patriots. And as we get back to the game, here we go. We return for the second quarter. Scores 46 Patriots. Beautiful night here. A little drizzly, but it's a cool 62 degrees. 61 degrees. 61 degrees, excuse me. Thank you. My co-host. Checking out for me. It got a little cloudy as it's starting to drizzle. Very little spits of Third rain. and six Patriots. Stern rolls right. He's being chased. High ball. Intended for Knox, but he has no idea where it's coming. That was again. Kunle Olin Ayi on the defense. And who else but Cole Grimm ready to punt? How high do you think this punt is going? 60 or 100 yards? Or even 150? 150? 150 yards in the air? 150 yards in the air. I don't know about that high. You can be at least 100 in the air. His leg is comparable to someone of Jack Grealish, you know, with his huge calves. Jack Grealish has his huge calves. He actually unlocked the low sock trait yep. this year. Yeah, so a huge kick coming from Cole Grimm. It's a good snap. Boom! Wow! An absolute bomb! <laughs> absolute <laughs> missile of a kick. It's received at the 20. He makes a move that's head again. Through the 30. He's still on his feet, but he's dragged down by a slew of Patriots. Dragged backwards. Dragged backwards to the 27. 27. Yeah, first and 10 Falcons, but oh my God, that kick from it was Cole a Graham. Bomb. Absolute rocket. It was, it, was, it was fast. It was a fast rocket. The minute where I saw it left his shoe, it was already hit the ground. Just An absolute a, missile by. Such a clean strike. It almost was a knuckleball. Now, here's the paradox of Cole Grimm, okay? 
The GA Patriots offense is so good that we barely need to bunt, but when we need to bunt, it's okay because we got the missile nuke leg of Cole Grimm. What do you think? Cole Grimm, he's a great kicker. He's such a strong leg. The student section is going rowdy. What do you have to say? Student section, we love the atmosphere here. Obviously, like I said before, it's like Anfield, Liverpool. I mean, I think it's like Stanford Bridge, a more rowdy environment, but it's a handoff. Hand, you know, it's a play action fake. Oh, it's picked up! It's George Jordan Red. Aaron. He hits the ground, and, be, and per high school rules, he is down automatically. Aaron. Interception. He's doing his diligence, both on offense and defense. Talk about a dual threat player like Travis Hunter. What touchdown for George Red and what pick? Patriots have the ball going the other way. First and 10 Patriots from their opposing 41 yard line. Wow, what a pick! Great pick. It's been a pleasure. With you, yep, Harrison. it has. All right. I think I'm going to go join the student section, All right. get a little rowdy, and maybe I'll come back for the fourth All right, quarter. it's been Adrian DM signing off. Adrian DM signing off. Snap. That's Lara. He's quick. As he cuts up the middle, makes a man miss, but he's eventually brought down by number six. Xander Baptiste, but that's a first down for Anthony Lara. First and 10, Patriots. First and 10 from the opposing 27 yard line. Patriots looking for another score. Max Langsfeld in motion. Handoff goes to Lara. Fortunately, he's dragged down. That's number 56, Nick Famolaro. So it'll be a Second and 10 again. No gain, second and 10 for the Patriots. Westcott being brought on the field for number five, Jake Balicki. Lara in the backfield. Towson at the bottom of your screen, a player to look out for right now. Stern drops back, it's a screen pass intended for Lara. Laura has a lot of men in his way, but he makes two miss. As he's dragged down from behind, it would be a third and five for the Patriots. He definitely had some green room, which was extremely improvised as he made two men miss with a swift, cool jukebox juke move. Laura being brought off the field. Three receivers at the bottom of your screen. Snap goes to turn, he's rolling right, looking, looking. It's a deep ball. Oh, wow, that was intended for A.J. Towson. It was a 50-50 ball between Towson and Corchado. You would think that Towson would break down with it, but Corchado played some great defense to knock the ball out of his hands. It will be third and five, Patriots. Patriots set up with Langsfeld, Towson, Arendt, Westcott, and Knox on the field. Some serious offensive weapons. Snap goes to Stern, he's looking to the right. It's a pass intended for Towson. First and 10 Patriots. Stern knew where he was going and Towson was right on page with him. As he moves the six, will be first and 10 Patriots. First and goal from the 9.84 yard line. West got a motion. High snap, handoff to Knox. He lowers the shoulder as he moves through the middle. He gets a gain of two yards. It'll be second and eight Patriots. 9.30 to go in the second quarter. 14-6 lead for the Patriots. Second goal from the eight-yard line. The student section is getting really loud right now with a let's go GA champ. A run in motion. Handoff goes to Larty. Quick and sly play, but he's thrown down. A gain of no yards, third and goal Patriots from the nine yard line. Injury timeout on the field. Injury timeout Patriots. 
It looks like an injured Falcon on the field as the medical staff swarm them. will be a quick media timeout. The injured player was Jackson Boone, the senior. Great to see him get back on his feet and walk on his own power off the field, so very good for him. Returning back to the field is a third and goal for the Patriots. They had a long timeout to talk it over, so it would be great to get a touchdown right now to extend the lead and give the Patriots a comfortable lead with the clock winding down in the first half. McKee in the backfield. Play action fake. Stern looks left. It's a deep fade. Is that caught? It's caught. That's A.J. Towson with the touchdown. It was a slot fade up to A.J. Towson. It looked like that it might have been incomplete as it was batted down, but Towson, Randy Moss, that over the defender's head, put it into his hands. It will be a touchdown. Stern's third and Towson's second of the game. Eight-yard touchdown catch by A.J. Towson extends the lead to 20 to six. Jerry Smith to kick. Getting in the holder. Kick is good. That's Jared Smith, 21 to six. A great, strong drive from the Patriots. Another one, I mean, how often, it, it, we see this so often with the team and it's really good. So 21 to six is the score as the kick team comes out. Towson comes to the track. Towson came to the fans and got them very excited with their cowbells and their rally flags. So the student section is louder than ever right now. <laughs> to kick off, it's Cole Grimm. We've seen one pooch punt and two onside kicks. Both being very close to being recovered by the team, the home team. Colgrim places the kick down. And honestly, what I expect to see out of Colgrim is a great, strong kick. Either a huge, booming touchback or a very good onside kick. Because he's a very, very, very good kicker. And we've seen that several times over. It's a quick punt, onside kick. And the Patriots get it. It's a great play. By the GA special teams, it's Cole Grimm. That's Cole Grimm, the junior who got the ball. A great play call. They tried to pull it two weeks ago. They got a false start, but now they got it. A quick, quick snap play. Cole Grimm with the onside kick, and the GA Patriots recover. It'll be first and 10 Patriots with another drive. It was Timmy Gitzer recover the ball, so a great play by the Patriots. First and 10 from the opposing 42 yard line. Quick snap, Lara cuts left. It's in inside zone, but he gets rocked. He's brought down by number 54. That's Max Ramakrishna. Second and 10. 
for GA. Anthony, Laura in the backfield. Flag. Called by the ref. It's a false start for the Patriots. Moves them back five yards. Second and long. West got in motion. Snap. Outside run by Mick McKee, but he cuts back left. He falls forward and gains some of the yardage back. Maybe a gain of four yards. So he gains yardage back from the previous flag. It will be a third and nine for GA. High snap, Stern drops back. It's a designed play that was intended for number seven, Seamus Knox, but he could not bring it in. So it'll be a fourth down. And the huge leg of Cole Grimm is ready to punt once again. In my head right now, I'm trying to think of crazy adjectives to describe Cole Grimm's huge, long, Hard punch, so. I'm thinking I got, I got a good one. That's Hennigan. Excuse me, that's Ishan Matal to return. Wow, what a missile! It's high up, it's dropping like a nuke. Great punt by Cole Grimm as he's brought down by a lot of Patriots. That's number 13, Ryan Strauss. Ryan Strauss with a huge tackle. Wow, shout out Ryan Strauss. He made a huge play right there to pin the Falcons within their own 10-yard line. Huge tackle by Ryan Strauss. Another player to look out for. A great gunner on the special teams for the Patriots. Hennigan in the back. He had the 43-yard touchdown earlier. Snap is to Hennigan. He cuts up the middle, but he's brought down by a troop led by number 51. Uh, excuse me, 52. Robbie Boudreaux. Oh no, it was 51, that's Eddie getting and he switched numbers today from number 15. He's wearing number 51 today. First to 10, excuse me, second to seven Falcons. Hand off to Hennigan. He has strong legs as he brought down. The rest of Mark, I'm sure, will be third and one Patriots, but just give it again to Hennigan and they might as well get it. Brought down by Jack Westcott. It's getting a little more drizzly out here, but not too wet to notice, but you do feel a little spritz, so it does feel nice with a cool down temperature of 62 degrees. Rest whistle. Timeout. Falcons leaves them with one timeout after they burned the last two on the indespicable play when they missed their punter.
So the Falcons return for third and one. Hennigan still the tailback. It's an inside zone I'm expecting right now. But he lines up behind the quarterback. Patriots load the box. Eight men in there. Eddie McGinnigan ready to bite it off. But Hennigan's too quick. He cuts left. Oh my God. He blows over AJ Towson for a first down. First and 10 Falcons after a very strong run by Hennigan. First and 10 from their own 42 yard line. First and 10. The Falcons, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So just hand off to Hennigan. Hand off to Hennigan. Wow, but he's dragged down. Wow, what a tackle by Zach Nice, a, a player we mentioned earlier, a huge leader on this defense. So it'll be a hiccup in Hennigan's day as he's brought down for a short gain of one. It'll be second and nine, Patriots. Second and nine, Falcons. Motion man, looks right. It's a overthrown screen for Hennigan. It was an intended sort of jet screen, but it was incomplete, third and nine, Patriots. Returning back to the mic with a new face of face paint, Adrian Diem. Yeah, Welcome back. How was the student section? On. Student section is very rowdy. Got some trance going of I love you, Cole Grimm. Okay. After that onside kick, beautiful. Yeah. So, tell me about your face paint right now. Uh, it's just black face paint. You know, are you going to wear that in your game tomorrow? Probably not. You're more of a clean kind of guy? Yeah, clean. Kind oh, of like wow. The quarterback is lit up. Pass bobbled in the air. I'm more of a clean kind of guy like Cristiano Ronaldo. No tattoos, no nothing. Okay. So it was a great rush up the middle. That's Eddie McGettigan. Hedigan's pass was intended for number two, Jake Metaverse. It was bobbled up in the air incomplete. Fourth and ten by the Falcons. So obviously... Patriots Long rush snap. 10 players. The punt is high Got in the air, punt. and that's yeah. out of bounds, way out of bounds. Patriots should be getting a generous spot on this. Ref tiptoed, tiptoed. Walking up the field, he is, they're still deciding. This is a interesting length of call, but it, oh, 37. I mean, I thought that was in their own 41. What did you think? I don't know, that could have been their own 41, but... So the Patriots get a harsh call from the refs, but that's how the game goes. So it'll be a first to 10 Patriots from their own 33 yard line. 21 to six. Yeah. A little misty drizzle of rain. Adrian, what do you think about the climate? I think it's nice weather. It's a little slippery. It's, on not, the it's not a cold rainy night in Stoke, is it? No, definitely not a cold rainy night in Stoke. More of like a cool, crisp, kind of like your London station. Yeah. Yeah. Hand off to Lara, but he's dragged down by a couple of Falcons. So a gain of two, maybe three yards. Second and seven, Pat. Oh, wow, there's a injury on the field. Oh, that's Anthony Lard is not looking good. He is down. That's Anthony Lard. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Anthony Lard's left knee is in pain Yeah, it looks right like now. a left knee injury, The Patriots were quick to come out. <laughs> this is not a good injury. I, I am praying already for swift recovery. Wow, this is not good. The student section has gone quiet. Adrian, we see these injuries in football all the time. What do you think this is? I don't know. It left knee is definitely not a good sign. Yeah, not Could a be good around one. the MCL. 
Not good. Not good. Not good. That could that could sideline him for the rest of the season. But obviously, we are not hoping for the worst. God forbid he has a serious injury. He is a key part of this team. As you can see, Coach Dents, Dents down there showing his sympathy, staying with Anthony Lara. The student section has gone into a pin drop silence as they are all hoping for the whoever Kyrie is. Anthony Lara as he comes back on his feet. He's limping, but he's walking on his own power. So that's a good sign. Yeah, a great sign. He might be out of this game, but hopefully no long-term injuries. Lara takes off this helmet. Fortunately, he can walk on his own power, but he does have a slight limp as he walks off the field. I don't know if I would call that slight, but definitely limp. Have you got any bad injuries in soccer? I know you're a tough cookie. You got 99 fizz. No, I did have some bad injuries. I had a sprained Achilles tendon put Ooh. me out for a long time. Ooh. Definitely. Not you know, even with the best players. soccer players, uh, we always see injuries, but... We have a strong run by Seamus Knox again. The two yards will be third and four for the Patriots. So let's talk about your uh, soccer career. You had a very strong career that landed you up as a transfer to GA after a strong one at strong run at what club? Wissahickon. Wissahickon. So a strong run at Wissahickon got you a little bit of recruitment to come to GA. So. Third and four. Knox in the backfield with Lara on the sideline. Wow. The Patriots were seatbelt strapped on that play. Two men barged through the line and got to Stern quick as Stern just threw it at a defender to gain an incompletion. So, fourth and four for the Patriots. Oh, my God. Cole Graham is out to kick. He has two monster huge bombed punts. And we're seeing another one. Adrian, what do you think? I'm hoping for a really high one. Give me a nice adjective to describe this kick. Let's go, Jacob! Tough one. Anything. Just throw something out there. Hi. Hi! <laughs> I like that. Cole Grimm, it's a good snap. Takes three steps. Oh, my God. It is smacked into the sky. It is a very generous bounce. Ryan Strauss. And it is a great recovery by Ryan Strauss. He's been everywhere on special teams today. He is looking for who to give the ball to. And he gives it to his coach, Matt Dents. That honestly just sums up the game today. It's great to get some touches for Ryan Strauss. Right. It is a – honestly, that that was just the epitome of today's game. The coach is working with the players. The players working with the coach. And honestly, it just all works out for everybody. Don't you agree? Yeah. So, obviously, you missed the last touchdown of the box from A.G. Yeah. Towson. But tell me what you think. I mean, I didn't really have a good view because the student section is pretty packed. So, I kind of missed what happened. Can you fill me in? Yeah. So, it was a – Quick slot fade to A.J. Towson, an eight-yard catch. He had a little aggressive catch with the Y and brought it in for a touchdown. Nice. So it's his second touchdown of the game. And after the touchdown, he came to show his appreciation to the fans. He did. Golf gave him all respect. He did. It up for him. Delay handoff fake. It's Hennigan. Wow, he's up the field. And he's, wow. he's gone. 35-30, 25-20, 10 5 Touchdown, Hennigan. Wow. What he, a run. Dude, he is quite the player. He's a great runner. Once he back. made it up to that second level, you knew he was gone. Touchdown, Falcons. Makes the score 21 to 12. I wonder what his 40 yard dash is. That acceleration was quick. What do you, what's his acceleration rating at a 100? 69 yarder. Uh, I think his acceleration rating would probably be a cool like 89. All right. Quick. So that was a 70 yard rushing touchdown by Hennigan. 69 yards. 69, 69, yeah. The ball was on the 31, so a 69-yard touchdown as the GA Patriots are frantic to Jonah make the correct Hill offensive substitution. Not Jonah Hill. Jonah running off the field. Jonah Hunt. <laughs> Jonah Hunt. <laughs> but the, the Falcons are going for two to make the score 21-14. to 14. Hand off to Hannigan, and you don't even... Oh, wow! He's pulled down! Pulled down. I could not even... Wow. I thought he was trying his way in, but a great tackle by Seamus Knox. Makes it a two-score game, 21-12 to 12 in favor of the Patriots. So, Knox also a two-way threat. <laughs> Do you have an NFL comparison for him? Jameis Knox? Sort of like a Saquon Barkley. You could say Saquon Barkley. Derrick Henry? I saying Travis Etienne. Oh, Travis That's an Did you draft him in your fantasy football league? Is that why? <laughs> All right. What's your record? I believe I am. All right. All right. All right. Two and one. Okay. Okay. So, not three now, but all right. Three I am three now, actually. So, congratulations. I'm a strong fantasy football player to say. Ov George Arendt, turn turn the kick and same as well as Mick McKee. 
2.53 to go in the half. 21 to 12 is the lead for the Patriots. Everybody on the Patriots deserves an A-plus today. I'll say that right now. Yeah. Patriots doing very well. Of course, the defense could be a little better. We're leaving too many gaps. Leaving the running the running game. Petty. But still like, very strong. Still very, very strong. strong. Yeah, definitely. So now to kick is Xander Baptiste. Wow, the Falcons players look ready. They just hit their head, hands on their helmets. It's a booming kick with a side spin. Caught High by catch Mick. by Mick McKee. Looks like he's doing a little nonchalant jog as he cuts right. The blocks did not lay out, but it's a strong return. A 28-yard return sets up the Patriots a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. All right, tell, tell me what we're going to get on this drive. I want to see a big head top from A.J. Callison. I want to see that Head again. tap. Explain that. Yeah. Explain to me what that is for the viewers. Head tap is where you jump over someone, over the cornerback to catch the ball. So we've already seen that for AJ Townsend today. Yeah, I want to see it twice. Twice? Twice. All right. It's a lot to ask for, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we could do it. Nah, he's got it. He's got it. Seamus knocks in the backfield. Pass complete. That's number five, Jake Balicki. Jake Balicki, the sophomore. Yeah. But he's absolutely lit up as he only gets a two-yard game. Due to forward progress, second and eight, Patriots. Second and seven for the Patriots. Two men in the backfield. Towson goes on a jet Green. screen. Oh, but he's got he's speed. In. He cuts up the field, but he's eventually dragged out of bounds. Excuse me, pushed out of bounds by Jacob Mative. So a first and ten as AJ Towson moves the chain. So not a head tap, but a great play no, by AJ Towson. Great. He's very agile, especially for a big dude like himself. Yeah. So the camera cannot pick this up right now, but we have Colgrim practicing his punts on the sideline. And I have to say, they are going very high. You know, yeah. you might have to call a little four so yeah. people know that's coming in. But it's a handoff to Seamus Knox. He lowers his shoulder and he gets a gain of a cool two and a half yards. So second and seven, Patriots. Towson being brought onto the field for Jake McVeigh. Langs fell to the bottom of your screen with a rent and Towson. Think of a two-man slot package and Knox in the backfield. Play action fake looks right to design pass for AJ Towson. Intercepted. Oh, but it's intercepted. He bobbled and it's intercepted. Number 50 is going the Falcons off. are taking it the other way. That's number 50. AJ Towson with yeah. the rundown. So that was an interception as AJ Towson could not control the ball into the hands of that's number 50. Brock Schauble, he had a huge return. He's a sophomore, so a huge play for him. That A.J. Towson rundown yeah. reminded me of LeBron's rundown blocks. Yep, I, I do agree. That it reminds me of LeBron James' game seven, game-winning block on Andre Iguodala. Similar to, shades, you know, I feel like LeBron shows some shades of A.J. Towson, you know? I would say so, too. And it was a great run back by A.J., uh, excuse me, chase down by A.J. Towson, which saves the Falcons running a potential touchdown. First and 10, Falcons on their own opposing 18-yard line. So, Falcons have one minute, 44 seconds to get a score and make this game closer than ever. Shout out to Ben Getson, manning the camera. Yeah, handoff goes to Hannigan, and he lowers the shorter, but he's dragged down within the five-yard line. Tackle by A.J. Towson. A.J. Towson also a two-way threat yeah. on offense and defense. We first, saw that in his rundown first tackle. Goal. First and goal from the six-yard line. Six yard line. Do you think they'll just give it to Hannigan again? I would assume so. He's been a great player this past, this past two quarters. Hannigan does his usual walk. Snap to Fisher, handoff to Hannigan, cuts left, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Wow, 21 to 18, Falcons. That's his, that's his third touchdown of the game. So wow. a huge showing by Hannigan. He has probably has at least 175 yards up to this point. You think they're gonna play it safe, go for the PAT, or? Does not feet? look like it. It looks like they're keeping the squad out for two. Another risky play, they failed to convert the last one after a great Both tackle dragged Hannigan down. Only gained a yard on that, so. Both of their extra point attempts have failed. 
Yeah. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, so they have the blocked extra point in the first touchdown and a failed second, sorry, two-point conversion. So let's see if they do it this time. Are we looking for a pass or a run here? What do you think? I think they're going to run it to Hannigan. Yeah. Hand off is to Hannigan up the middle, but he's dragged down. The Patriots are ready. He's short. Great tackle by Eddie McGettigan. Two-point conversion, no good. Dude, look how many players they have on the bench. They mentioned the, I don't know if you can see it right now on the camera, but the Falcons have a substantially shorter bench. They have a low roster. The, yeah. Looks about like half the roster. Looks like about half the roster compared to the Patriots, which is, you know, great for the Patriots. They have a lot of depth, can rotate players, get players good game experience. So Falcons are ready to kick off after the failed two-point conversion. Short as a lead to three points, 21-18 in favor of the Patriots. McKee and Arendt ready to receive. We've seen a McKee return the last two kicks with solid jukeable returns. So I would, you know, give, you know, McKee the title of a jukebox, you know? Yeah. Like he that, would have that ability, you like know? that ability in Madden. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Baptiste the kick. Falcons tap their legs and hit their heads. It's a rocket of a kick. It has a side spin, but McKee catches it. Yeah, McKee's running to the right. He's still he on threw. his feet. Flags he on the play. Flag on the field. There are two flags on the move. field. He's eventually brought down by the kicker, Baptiste, but there are two flags on the field. It looks like an illegal block in the back will move the Patriots back. So they have 56 seconds to do something with this ball, and... What do you think they're going to do here? You know, they got to make it quick. So, do you see some lobs? Yeah, I would say they're going to lob it up to A.J. Towson. Any or, involvement from George Arendt? Or George Arendt could dust this man on right. the streak. He'll be wide open for a touchdown. So, Patriots have two of their timeouts compared to the Falcons' zero, and they have 56.8 seconds to do something with the ball. Obviously, if they do get deep enough, Cole Graham will nail his kick, obviously. Yeah, so. I think I've seen Colgrim hit a 70-yarder. Am I, am I mistaken? 70-yarder? I mean, he definitely has the potential for that. Yeah, yeah. I, swear, I mean, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it, you know? Yeah, I definitely would not be surprised. That would probably be a record kick for GA football. Handoff goes to Knox. It's a gain of half a yard, second and ten. As the clock winds down. What do you think of Xavier Stern? He's had a great game. He's a definition of a pocket passer. He sits That's back in the pocket, average. looks for the man, and dead eyes that to the receiver and is a very strong player. Obviously, the obviously the interception, I would not pin on him. No. But an unfortunate bobble. So the clock winding down. Looks like the Patriots will just take a knee as the clock winds down in the second half. The score is, Everybody. this is Danny Gass, our cameraman. So now the score is 21-18 as the Patriots enter into halftime. So a great way to cut the lead down for the Falcons. Tell me about that. Yeah, the Falcons, they've had some, they had three rushing touchdowns from the running back. Hannigan. Hannigan. He, he, he can get through, when he gets through the holes on the defense, when he gets through the holes on the defense, he just goes and goes and goes. So he has up over 180 rushing yards today and three rushing touchdowns. How do you think the Patriots will stop it? I think they need to tighten their gaps in the D line and make sure that he cannot get through. Okay, and for the offense today, we have Xavier Stern, three touchdowns, one pick, with two touchdowns by A.J. Tallison and one by Georgia Wren. What are you looking for him to improve on in the second half? I think he needs to maybe honestly sit in the pocket a little longer and wait for the receivers to finish right. their route. 
and hopefully he'll find them open there. Less chance of an interception. So a great analysis by Adrian Diem here as we head into halftime. The score is 21 to 18 for the Patriots.
yours. That's mine. Okay. Test, test. That's yours. Welcome back to Cary Stadium. I'm here with the new co-host, Ellis Johnson. <laughs> I got a new look on my face from the student section, a little bit of face paint to celebrate the first Friday Night League Games J history. And Ellis Johnson here, my friend, he has been in the student section for the whole first half. So tell me about what you've seen. Well, I see GA fans, uh, student stand session, uh, hype! They are so hype. Uh, AJ Townsend doing amazing right now. George, amazing right now. Uh, GA Pats, they're rolling right now. So what's your favorite champ so far? Let's go, Cole Graham. Do you like that? Uh, I mean, I like that one, but I like, oh, 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 oh. That gets me hype. All right, all right. So obviously the GA student section hype. You're hearing it first from Alex Johnson. It is 21-18 Patriots as we get underway. We see on the field right now, we see the GA players stretching as well as the Falcons players running some laps. So let Danny Gas, let's take it to the field. <laughs> GA players coming to a huddle. We have two minutes and 15 seconds left to go in this halftime. Me and Alice Johnson. We'll be back when play resumes in two minutes. We are back to Cary Stadium and it is, it is still cool, 61 degrees. The rainy mist has calmed down a little bit and the GA student section is absolutely nuts. They're chanting a let's go GA. Alice, what are you thinking right now? I'm hype. I'm hype for the second half. I think GA will really pull away on this one. Plain and simple from Ellis. Baptiste ready to kick with once again McKee and a rent ready return. It is McKee who has taken most of the returns and he's been great so far today. Baptiste with a high bulleted kick. To McKee again. Who else? Takes a quick step back. He's running fast. Looking for some blocks. He gets those blocks. He cuts right. He's still on his feet. Is he still up? I can't see. Ooh. Cuts right. Jukes right again. He's brought down at the run 45 yard line, but a great return by Mick McKee. What did you think about that? Uh, gave me uh, flashbacks from Devin Hester in uh, Chicago. Yep, that is right. Devin Hester, a Hall of Famer returner with the most kick returns all the time in NFL history. And a 35 yard return from Mick McKee. So, Score is 21-18. It is three touchdowns for the Patriots, all coming from Xavier Stern. So are we going to see some more passing or running on this drive? Uh, I'm feeling running. I mean, you got to get loose, so I feel a lot of running this one. 
Yeah, let's loosen up with Seamus Knox. We have a rent in motion moving to the top of your screen. Snap cuts to Stern. It's a run play to Knox, just as Ellis predicted. Oof. He stays on his feet. He cuts right. First and 10 Patriots gain of 14 yards, it looks like. First 10 Patriots. So first and that Patriots, some great uh, sound from Ellis Johnson as he it is extremely invested in this game. It is an extremely hyped game. First Friday Night Lights game in history. I am excited. Everybody's excited here tonight. A rent in motion. He looks like a jet screen, but it's a handoff to Knox as he breaks up the middle. Trips and falls. Second and seven, Patriots. So some strong running plays by both teams, but I, especially by the Falcons. What have you thought about it? I mean, run, run dominant game. That's how it is. Yeah, so we have Anthony Miller back from his injury. Obviously, Brian has scared a much of the crowd. Looked like his knee was hurt. He's back on to the field, so great to see that coming back from the second and seven Patriots. Lara, play action fake, Stern looks left. Pass complete. That's Jack Westcott with the catch. It's his first catch of the game, a short three yard gain. Third and four, the Patriots. So Jack Westcott, a, a junior, so one of your friends, correct? Yes. So he is also a two sport athlete, correct? Yes, he does he. some rowing, just like you. Yeah. <laughs> got a basketball, varsity basketball star and a track star, Ellis Johnson here. So, you know, a lot to look out for in the upcoming season, especially in basketball. Streamed live here on this YouTube channel. Stern looks to the sideline as Westcott goes into motion with three receivers. Bottom of your screen, Laura also in the backfield. Snap this time, play action. Oh, it's oh. fumbled. It's fumbled with a little miscommunication, but it's received by Lara. A huge loss. Loss of seven yards will be fourth and 11 for the Patriots. It looked like it might have been an RPO and a little confusion, but look who trots on the field. Cole Grimm and the gunner, Ryan Strauss. Let's go. Ryan Strauss it's, it makes a lot of tackles, correct? Yes, he does. Dog. So, he is a dog. We have Cole Grimm ready to make a huge boot. What do you think about this? Oh, I'm feeling a big one. How big? Yard. Boom! That's a huge ball by Cole What did I say? Uh -huh. Oh, my God, that's an amazing uh -huh. Oh. Oh, he returns yeah. it. Wait, what? What's going on? It looks like they are calling a touchback per high school rules. If his foot lands in the end zone, not like NFL, yeah. it is a touchback. All right. It's obviously a very strong kick by Cole Grimm. Yeah. If it was NFL rules, it would have been inside the five-yard line. So, but also a very strong kick by Cole Grimm, but we already saw that coming, didn't we? Yeah. From your view of the student section, obviously a much lower view. Yeah. What do you think about his previous punts? Uh, I mean, they've been they've been pretty far. I mean, they haven't returned it for that far. Any so yards, I mean, yeah. to be honest. So, Cole Grimm is an integral part of this offense, per se. He is. Because he helps out. Sorry, with the defense, because he helps out the defense by pushing them so far back. Yeah. You know, with weaker punters, you know, it, the offense of the other team might have a shorter field, but Holgram provides the defense with a more field to work with. Yeah, yes, he does. Snap to Fisher. It's a play action. No, it's a delayed handoff. Get him. That's Hennigan. Go get him. There you go. That's a, still a 40-yard rush, but he's brought down. A couple of Patriots, including Mick McKee, the safety, but Hennigan's been everywhere today. It's at least a 40-yard rush. That's over 220 yards for Hennigan, you know. Do you see some Derrick Henry in him? Oof, yeah, I do. You know, he has that versatility up the middle, so. It's an even 40-yard game for the 20 to the opposing 40, so. You know, he's been destroying been everywhere. Us, you know, blowing us, you know, out, you know. So. It's it's a lot to handle. It so is. That was our key from halftime to shut him down, but no easy task. Looks like another run play. Motion, man. False start on the offense. Looks like the right guard moved Love to it. back them up five yards. So lucky break for us. Yeah. First and 15 Falcons. So obviously the Patriots have done a good job shutting down the pass again. Yeah, they have. Do you see anything else pushing the Falcons forward in their passing game, or do you think we're, we've just been strapping them down? I think we've been strapping them down. Seatbelt. Seatbelt check. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we have a first and 15 with a score of 21 to 18 for the Falcons. Hennigan, the workhorse running back. 
He drops back, but it's a delayed yeah. handoff to Hen again. He cuts right. He's up the middle. He falls forward. Wow, he has reached for it probably. That's a nine-yard gain at least. Second and six. You know, Hennigan probably an X factor. Yeah, you know? probably he's probably activated all game. Probably activated with what? First one free, wrecking ball. <laughs> Oof, I'm feeling fright train. I mean, he is a breaks train first tackle in the running sense. Every time he lowers his shoulder, he is down to the next level. It's ridiculous. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. I put him on my mutt team. You will put him on his. Butt. That's a great analogy right there. A mutt team is a fantasy team per se. He does have a lot of fantasy points today. Let's play from the Patriots. Love it. Wow. Yeah, uh -huh. break out. Yes. That is Eddie McGettigan. Who else? Let's go, Eddie. A defensive leader, a good friend of ours, and a nice fellow in my math class. So <laughs> always fun to see, to see the boys get rowdy. Get a huge 95-yard fumble recovery touchdown two weeks ago. Yeah, you did. Big time player. Big, big time player. So, Hennigan has been everywhere today, but for Eddie McGinney to push him back, honestly makes a statement to the other team. It does. It's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy, that's for sure. I, I don't know. I might, I might see a little stretch. I don't know. I don't know. Motion man. It's a jet touch pass. That's number six, Baptiste. He cuts right. Oh, he's Oof. cup blocked. Or what's the flag for there? I did not see I a flag see there. I think they're calling it a low tackle. Oh, no, 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 they're pointing to the offense. Holding on the offense, moves the back 10 yards. But will Gens decline it? Because it was short of the first down. So holding on the offense, moves the back 10 yards. So Gens has a big decision to make. Will he accept it, making a fourth and three, or decline it, making a third and 18? And he does, sorry, he does decline it. No, he accepts it. No, no, he does accept it. He does accept it, yeah. He did accept it, moving them 10 yards back. So, yeah, 10 yards from the spot on the foul. Which is a long ways back. A third and 18 looming for the Falcons. Going to have to air it out. Going to have to air it out. So, a huge key right now is that cornerback coverage. Looks like they are running a little bit of zone. Snap, looks left, zone coverage. Don't get him. He throws it up. Oh, wow, Hannigan is about. blown up. He is blown up. That is number seven. Of course, it's Seamus Knox who blew up Hannigan on that play. Hannigan has actually been everywhere today. He's one of those last two plays, which is very rare. So, talking about that zone coverage and pull down blitz from Seamus Knox. Yep. Great read by him. Love it. Tell me about that play. <sighs> Boom. That's all I got to say. Hit stick. That's simple. all I got to say. Plain and simple. Punter is Jacob Metivier. Okay, French last name. <laughs> I oui, take oui. French, man. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Give me some of your French vocab as the uh. punt is boomed. Recovered by McKee. Oof. Cuts left. Oh my god, he just meant four men miss. Ugh. Slithery. Slithery. Ugh, jukebox. Alright, tell me your favorite French word. French uh let's see. Uh croissant. croissant. Gotta be. Croissant. Croissant. You like yourself a good croissant? I love myself a good croissant. If you could pick one city to have a croissant, where would it be? Uh, Paris? Par it has to be Paris. Paris. Has to be. Basic Paris. answer, it has to be Paris. A nice big jet? Croissant. <laughs> some tea? Ah, uh, nah. Need no the coffee. Tea. Need coffee. Want some coffee, C croissant, coffee. and baguette. <laughs> Ellis here and his go-to order at a coffee shop in Paris. <laughs> you are to hear first. First is that Patriots from the even 20-yard line. Snap goes to Lara. Makes one man miss. He's brought down for a short one-yard gain. Second and nine for the Germantown Academy Patriots on a beautiful night. Did I mention it? 61 degrees and the rain has stopped. Not a single cloud in the sky. A beautiful, beautiful night for football. Crowd is getting loud. Stern drops back. He looks left. Complete to AJ Towson. Refs ruling that a complete catch. That's a great over the shoulder catch by AJ Towson. Good route. Third and one Patriots. What was that? An outside corner comeback Look, sort looked of? Looked like it. Running in Madden all the time. You know, you, you might need a route apprentice for that. I might, I might need it. 
Third and one. Falcons do have a huge defensive line. It's a delayed high snap handoff to Barr, and he's drags forward by the line. What is the call here? This would be an interesting call. They moved the chains first and 10. The actual Falcons defensive line helped out Laura there, didn't they? Yeah, he did. Carried them all with him. So what are your opinions on the push-push? On the push-push. Oh, push, man. Push-push, you know, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's unstoppable. Unstoppable? I mean, yeah. Do you, you see high school offenses like the Jalen Hurts? Uh, I mean, I don't see a high school quarterback squatting 600, so, nah. I think Xavier's starting to get squat 700. You're, you're serious? I think I saw that. You know what? I, I believe it. Yep. I would believe that. High snap, but it's the stern again. It's an inside route, Jack Westcott. He makes a man miss, but it's a short gain of four yards, second and six for the Patriots. So a quick little inside zig, you know. Yeah. You see those often, but usually it's the outside. This time it's the inside. Hmm? Second and six. The student crowd is something else. I mean, I have to give a They're big rowdy. shout out to the student fans and some people like Charlie Morris and Larry <laughs> Zahn and be the star see down there. They are really loud, banging, railing, losing their voice as they snap to Stern. He looks left, a little underthrown intended for A.J. Towson. A.J. Towson wishes he caught that one. So it will be a third and six, third and mid. Patriots with 354 left to go. I mean, this is Madden. I'd usually run slants, but slants? I don't know. I mean, I did measure before. I mean, Saver Stern and Georgia Wright is more of a Drew Brees. Yeah. You know, Michael Thomas combo, obviously, both Hall of Fame. So. But then you got AJ Thompson like, on the yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Right. You know, yeah, I got you. I know it's, what you're it's talking about. It's like a Devonta Smith, AJ Brown thing. You know, yeah, it's yeah, way yeah. too dangerous. Oh, oh wow. What a stop and go route. Oh, Stern drops my, oh my God. What a throw with her. Oh, what a route. Are we going to talk yep. about that route for AJ Thompson? Walk me through that route in your own words. Stop. Oh, ooh, someone's down. Hold on. Oh, we have a man down on the field as he comes up to his feet. It's the quarterback, Xavier Stern. But tell me about that route right there. Oh, my gosh. Stopped. They thought he was done. Nope. Oh, oh goodbye. Oh. See you. He's off the field. Yeah. And it's a first and 10 for the Patriots on the even opposing 40-yard line. Uh-oh, we got a big injury here. Xavier Stern, the quarterback, looks a little shaken up. He's going to tough it out. Yeah, he's limping, yeah. Limping off the sideline as... It's going to happen. What? Look, Patriots are entering the field without their quarterback. That's numbers. That's Sean McGettigan lining up at quarterback. Okay. These are huge shoes to fill, and <laughs> honestly, I wish the best of luck. Let's see a huge play on first and ten. High snap, but a great control by McGettigan. It's a handoff to Lara. Stutters Good down, run. Take it to the oh house. Take it to the house. To the crib. To the crib. Touchdown. Uh-huh. Hits a little Selly. Let's see the Selly. Oh, trapped. Inbounds. Touchdown. That's an 8 for 5 out of 10 celebration for Anthony Lara. Cool walk down the sideline. Cuts left with the backup quarterback in. Patriots made the score 27 to 18. He came back injured. He was injured in the first quarter. Came back and now with the touchdown. Patriots lead by 9 looking for 10. Tell me about that, man. You cannot right? keep a dog out. You cannot keep a dog out. Yeah, as I've said before, that's why dogs bark and cats meow, you know? <laughs> what did Fight React say? I just scored six like a touchdown. That's what yep. he just said. That's what he just said. The GA bench is getting hella hecking rowdy right now. Yeah, they are. We we have got a GA flag rolling in yep. the student section. J-Mo to make it 4-4 four, four from extra points, and he does. He don't miss he those. He extends the lead from 10. He does not miss those He kicks. does not miss those. Got 338 left remaining in the first quarter. So, Ben Getson, do you want to talk about your fantasy football team? Oh, fantasy football team? I'm 3 0 right now in the league. Don't want to talk about it. Lamar Jackson and um, Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler is out this week, so I do have to find a replacement. Great analysis by Ben Getson. He will be on the broadcast later in this game. You know, sharing the wealth, you know. There's a little bit of baloney <laughs> on the sideline, but let's go. <laughs> oh, my God, Cole Grimm is ready to kick. Let's go. Let's see it. Hey. 
What do you say? Yeah, the student section is going nuts for this Cole Grimm kick here. I think they're chanting Cole Grimm. Cole the Grimm. Flag Cole Grimm. Is the flag is waving. waving. Germantown Academy flag is waving. Cole Grimm with his <laughs> iron leg is ready to kick. He steps up as a quick run up. Ooh, ooh, it's an onside kick. He's done it before. Let's uh -oh. see if he does it again. Oh. oh. It's a good kick, obviously, ooh. with no return. That was received by number nine, Sean Corchado. He's been everywhere on offense today. Big possession for a GA Pats. Big possession. Yeah, we need a huge defensive possession for the passes. A coast Ellis has said. Anything else we're looking for on defense? Uh, stop the run. Stop, stop the run. The, stop That's the run. Goal. We have Hannigan, who's up over 220 yards with <sighs> touchdowns. What is that? It's a lot of 40 fantasy, fantasy points. points. Oh, I could have used that last week. Yeah. Look, ben. I know. He's obviously starting. I think, I think my friend over here, the cameraman Danny, has Hannigan starting in his fantasy football league. <laughs> so we need some huge stops on the GA Patriots defense. And I believe. Do you believe? I believe. I believe. actually believes too. They are actually going nuts over there. I've never seen it before here, but it's awesome. As Hannigan gets the run, he cuts up the middle, makes a little hurdle. Uh -huh. he's Good stand. Oh. oh, he's still moving. His feet. I like it. Great stop by Eddie McGettigan and that's number seven, Ant James Knox. Three oh eight as the clock winds down in the third quarter. Twenty eight to eighteen is the lead for the Patriots. Watch a run. Okay. High snap, play action on fake. That. Wow, he is seatbelt oh, strapped. Oh, flag! Come oh, on! No, 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 oh, no! Come on now. I was about to absolutely go crazy about that great defense, come Anthony on. Laura. The Patriots fans are also mad about that call, but I do not blame them. That is they don't want him to get his call. X factor. They don't want him to get his X factor. That's cool. So, I guess that's what holding a PI looks like a PI is the. Looks like a PI. Wow, yeah. the six are really moving. It's a 15-yard penalty. That's First huge. Ever. Honestly, just lucky, you know. It's lucky. Like, it was great. To Great defense it, was, it, was, it was great defense. Honestly, perfect. You know, NFL level, perhaps. I mean, it is what it is. Next play. He's sort of like a young Jair Alexander. Run. Oh, wow. Oh, snap. Getting away Drops from it. back. Love great the pressure. Defense pressure by the. Love it. That is a coverage sack, as I say. Yeah, I a love it. A coverage that. sack. So, the GA Patriots line bliss, and everyone's strapped down, locked up. Second and 10 for the Falcons. So, great job shutting, shutting down the pass. Yeah. I mean, they got to go to the run. That's what I'm assuming. Give it to my RB1. So, feed the rock. Feed the rock. I mean, What's it's, the it's moving. What's the saying? You tell me. I, I, think, it's, I think it's just feed the chub. <laughs> I think it's a Nick Chubb. <laughs> Need the Chubb, which they do. He's a hand off to hand again. All right. He falls for it. He has reached for it. Yeah, okay. He has reached for it. He, he has, he has to have reached for it. Second and three after a seven yard gain. Oh, he's, for he's looks like Hannigan's limping. Okay, so we wish for the best for Hannigan. Yeah. Ah. He stays on the field. What a oh, oh he lays, he oh, goes really down. Sucks. Oh no. That's terrible. Uh oh. I really do hope he's okay. Oh my God, that really just that really just takes it out of you. He is their. Best player. You hate to see, yeah. even if they're not on your team. He has been. It. Maybe it's just cramping. Hopefully it just is. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not an injury. We really do not want to see this. He's a very good player. <sighs> you just see an audible sigh let out by the crowd. Yeah. Not a good look if he's on your fantasy No. Team. But obviously health over everything. Okay, it looks like it is just a – yeah, he needs water. I think he's signaling just for water. Just the cramp. But – of course he needs water. He's been a worker today, which yeah, is I mean, what's great about him. 99 stamina. 99 Oof. stamina. So, ho luckily, it, hopefully it's just a cramp. Obviously nothing long-lasting. Hopefully he can be brought back up to his feet and can run the next play. He's still down, but he looks like he's being helped up there right now. There we go. He's not want to come out. <laughs> 
return after the injury timeout. Caused my hand again as he walked up there. Hopefully he's okay. Wow, Coach Dents is getting the student section hype. Let's go, yep, yep, I'm out, I'm hype. Yep, we're hype. Dents got me hype! Woo! All right, third and five for the Falcons. Oh, man. Dude, I, I can't even hear my Ooh, own voice. It's so I'm getting loud. Goosebumps. Play action. Looks up the field. Oh, it's a deep oh. crosser. Ooh, oh, we can he's going to bring it down. Oof. Pass intended by Xander Baptiste. That was a great route. Just Fisher could not place the ball. They're not done yet. They're going for it. So, fourth and five. Two minutes to go. Third and five. The Patriots right now just cannot jump off sides. Kenny can see out of the game in the back foot is Eric Cho. It's louder than third down was. Let's go. Snap drop back. Go get him. Oh, wow, that's oh. complete. Oh, wow, he is quick. That is complete to Baptiste as he falls down at the exact 12-yard line. It is oh, up is that right. another cramp? See it. Oh, oh, man. Another cramp. You know, so we see the Falcons have a very short bench yeah. compared to the GA bench. Oh, man. Oh, there's like a GA player down, too. And a GA player down. Wow. This is never good. Is that George? There he goes. So he gets back up to his feet. You cannot keep him out. Nope. That's Georgie football, Georgia Red. Love it. So wait for him to get back up on his own. I'm confused on what what's going on now. What? Okay, uh, I'm just getting word right now from my producer that it was a holding penalty, and the ball was moved back 10 yards, so they will kick That's a it. punt. This is Metivier, French man. It's a bouncer. It's a generous bounce. McKee receives it very deep. Oh, oh, my, my God. gosh. Okay. Oh, he's gone. I mean, I, <laughs> jukebox. Uh, jukebox. What? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Nice see you. Now you don't. That juke, he was gone. Oh, my God. That's, that's oh. with... You know, with a positive connotation to it, disgusting. It's disgusting. You know. So that was set up a first and ten for the Patriots on their own. Looks like the rest of the spot at the 16-yard line. So a good start after a filthy juke move by McKee. We're doing a third quarter somewhere. Patriots will take over on the road 16-yard line, first and ten. With 137 remaining. So we're First and 10, Patriots. Oh, man. Someone else is down. <sighs> oh, another injury timeout. Second half, I mean, you're oh, sitting down in the locker yeah. room. You're going to cramp up. Got to stretch. That is uh, one injury of the better Falcons defensive players, Kule Olanayi. He's been all over the place. Yeah, he had the um, two big TFLs, and that's – Fourth straight injury. Uh, it's a, it's been a lot. Yeah, which it's been a lot. Never good. So 115 left to go in the quarter with 28 to 18 the lead for the Patriots. So on this Patriots offensive drive, name me one player you think we should keep an eye out for. I'm feeling a deep ball. A deep ball. It has to be a deep ball. AJ. Yeah. Oh, whew. yeah. It has to be AJ. AJ Towson. Yep. He already has two touchdowns, including that. Two great stop and go catches, a chair route per se. And he's looking to add on a third this drive, which is very plausible. He has been everywhere on offense today. Left side, right side, up, low, end zone, middle of the field. So fantasy roster, he's everywhere. Yep, he uh, probably if I never playing PPR, you know. <laughs> he is bound to have a great game. I mean who doesn't play PPR? You know? I mean I mean obviously there's some 
some, but I mean, like that's not that's not us. What do you think about the great atmosphere today of the first GA night game? I the mean, game? I was driving. Oh, oh my gosh, it was it's packed. It was it's so packed. packed. Yeah. Obviously, that's good. You know. Yeah. We never see this atmosphere, never. which is because we always have the day games. But it's great to get this atmosphere of the night games. I hope to see another one next year. The student section is crazy. Lots of parents, alumni, everyone. Is still down. Wow, this is so. The GA Patriots enter this game four and zero. Oh. They had a cool fifty to twenty eight win against Simon Gratz, Ocean City, New Jersey. A forty five to twenty one win at the Hill School Rams, and then a thirty one to twenty win at Archbishop Wood, and a twenty four to ten win at Blair County New Central ILS. Four and so, luckily, Owaniwi is able to use his own power to get off the field. Love, love to slight see limp. It. Hope he gets back out there. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alice, you said AJ Towson. AJ Towson gonna have a huge game. Hold on, what's the student section? Huge drive. Oh, they sing the Alma Mater. GA students actually singing the Alma Mater, so. Obviously, a lot of passion <laughs> right from that zone. Wow, they're oh, going they're, they're nuts, hype. especially on offense. Wow, the whole gang is coming up here. <laughs> Stern looks to the sideline. A red in motion. Love to see Stern back. Yeah, after his injury. Twenty-five seconds on the play clock. What's going on? A little bit of confusion, it looks like. Oh, a kid is running with the GA flag down the track. <laughs> wow. Love to see it. Love to see all the kids getting involved. <laughs> High snap Stern, a bubble. That's a red, but he uses his speed. Oh, he is clobbered out of bounds. Looks like 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Another play, they have to. Third and 11. Look for AJ number Towson. 11. Yep, Towson at the bottom of your screen. Laura, the motion man, play action. Looks deep down the field, that's AJ Towson. He's burning oh. that. Oh. Just a little over shots. It's a fourth down for the Patriots. So Ellis was right. Towson. Was open, just a little overshot with an unfortunate fourth down. It's getting a little more misty as it gets later to the night, but you know, up, it's Cole Grimm. Yeah. It's Cole Grimm, so. You know, they're going to get pinned back. Yeah, they are going to be pinned back relatively deep. Can I, can I get a pump prediction? Where do you think this is going to be at? I got. 80 yards. 80, oh. 80 yards. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, all right. Good snap to Cole Graham. Oh my God, that is ridiculously high. Yup. Oh, yep. it's muffed. It's Get on muffed. that. Get on that. Oh. oh. That is all because of Cole Graham. He's moved the team back. Max Langfeld, great hustle. Yeah, Max Langfeld, great hustle, as well as Ryan Strauss. And that wraps up the third quarter of football today. The score is 28-18 for the Patriots. And what do you think about that quarter? I mean, it was a great quarter. I mean, Pat scored, so, I mean, they're trying to separate. Yeah. A great run by Anthony Lara, indeed, makes the score a 10-point lead. And a, some great defense this quarter. Great defense. So, thank you, Ellis, for your help. Thank you so much for having we'll me. we have Ben Getson on for the next quarter. Let's go, Ben. we head back to the field.
now in the booth with me, it's Benjamin Getson, my fellow friend. Welcome, Ben. Tell me about yourself. Uh, Harrison, can you introduce me? Yeah, Ben Getson, JV golf player and varsity tennis player. He loves the sport of football and loves commentating. Hannigan gets a loss of two yards as it brings up second and 12 for the Falcons. Anything else you want to say about yourself? Yep. It's a new perspective watching this football game. I don't go to many on the GA now field. you're up in the booth, huh? Yep. It's very nice. So how does it feel with this great weather and during a great night game? Great weather, Harrison. What are you talking about? It's I, raining. I honestly like the cold. Not for no, me. No, you're, you're not. I'm more of a, like, Florida type of guy. Okay. Somewhere, well, I don't think you're living in the right state, all right? <laughs> so let's get hype. She's so actually just hype. We're going to get hype today. In the fourth quarter of football, pitchers lead 28 to 18. We have Hannigan in the backfield. He's had a great game so far. But Fisher looks right, and it was a pass intended for number two, Metivier. Good defense by the Patriots. Yep, third and 12. So I asked Ellis before, what's his favorite French food? Do you have a favorite? Favorite French food? French food. I take Latin. I'm a Latin scholar. Okay. Latin food. Latin food. Like, what even is that? Greek? Yeah, some Greek food. Ro Italian? Yeah, some, some Greek salad. Uh, some Greek salad. You heard it here first, folks. So, okay, Ben. You, you were obviously in the student section for three quarters. What was the atmosphere like down there? It's incredible, man. Incredible. These students are really showing out and helping the Patriots in an attempt to take the win. Without the students, I don't know what the score would be. Snap goes to Fisher. It's a screen left. It's caught by Hennigan, but he's eventually brought down by Anthony Lahr and Eddie McGettigan. It sets up a fourth and 12, a great read by the GA defense. Yeah, great tackles by the GA defense. That's how you play solid defense and get the win. Ben for sure knows what he is doing. Fourth and 12. All right. How many yards is Mick McKee going to get on this return? Over under 7.5. I think he's taking it all the way for the touchdown. You heard it here. You heard it here. You heard it here. You heard it here first, right? Yep, he's a very speedy returner. I'm not going to underestimate him. Patriots have a huge blitz. Wow, that is a high, high, high punt. Mick McKee does not even make an attempt. It's way out of bounds. Where are the refs going to rule this? Looks to be about the 40, 42 yard line. 42. No, it looks like the 48. So a generous, generous okay. ball spot. No, at the even 50. What? So refs are giving GA yeah. some nice luck. Yeah, so. Yeah, they are giving us some luck. I, I like that from you. So, who's your favorite NFL team? Come on, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, yeah that is right. The Eagles is a huge staple of Philadelphia culture. 3 and 0 right now. And They're really doing just as well as last year's so Super Bowl run. AJ Towson remind you of AJ Brown? Yeah, of course. He can go up for that ball, get that touchdown. He already has one tonight. Pitch goes to Lars as he cuts to the left. Arendt was in motion. He's still on his feet. Oh, he's still on. It's a five-yard game from Lars. He takes it down to the opposing 45-yard line. Freight train evading tackles. Yeah, we said that before. A freight train compared him to Hennigan and Derrick Henry, actually. Mm -hmm. Would you call maybe Anthony Miller a first one free kind of guy or a wrecking ball? Uh, wrecking ball. Wrecking I love ball. talking about these Madden abilities. Yep. Reach for it, maybe a jukebox. Yep, yep. So, I mean, I was comparing Xavier Stern to like a nice Drew Brees, you know, Tom Brady pocket passer. So... The rush goes to Lara. He gets no gain, a third and five. Third and five. Gavin Ziv was just in the box, a football aficionado himself, right? Yep, football aficionado, also an incredible diver. Yeah, he knows a lot about this game, and it shows, you know. Mm -hmm. He just gave us some meaningful analysis that the running back had to get us 236 yards. Third and five for the Patriots. Let's see if they can convert to keep the drive going. Third. Oh, yeah. Flag on the field. It looks like a little bit of <laughs> encroachment. Offsides from the Falcons. Well, offsides when they snap the ball. So a little bit of neutral zone infraction encroachment. Maybe. Okay. For that, moves the sticks. First down. down. The field, first and ten. Danny, Gas, what do you think about that flag? Beautiful call. Okay, and how about the game today as the cameraman? 
honestly fantastic game to film. It was so fun. I'm having a blast out here. Hope it keeps getting better. Yep, that's it from Danny Gass. As Lara takes it up the middle, he's fighting, he's moving his feet. It's a five yard gain that moves the ball down to the opposing 34 yard line. Second and five. Game of six. Second and five. High snap, play action. Looks left, it's oh, dropped by Jack Westcott. It was on target. It was a great pass by Xavier Stern, but an unfortunate yep. mistake by the GA Patriots offense. Right, third and five. Third and five. I have a question for you. Who's your favorite historical figure? I'm not trying to focus on history right now, Harrison. I'm locked in for this football game. Come you on. You seem like a George Washington kind of guy. I told you. Don't want to think about history. That's right. Ben is locked in. He's locked in on this football game. It is a third and four for the Patriots. Arendt in motion. Looks for a screen. Stern looks left as they pass complete to AJ Townsend. He has those gluey hands. Yep. That was a great completion to get the first down. Got first and ten Patriots and then move the sticks. A great pass and throw to... A.J. Townsend, a big, strong receiver, similar to A.J. Brown. Yep, A.J. Brown, A.J. Townsend, same first name. It's almost like one was named, it almost was like A.J. Brown was named after A.J. Townsend. Yep, maybe like A.J. Townsend is A.J. Brown's father. Yep, okay, Ben. <laughs> snap goes to start, it's a high snap, but it goes in up the middle to Seamus Knox. He fights forward. He's three yards, maybe two yards short. Second and two. Ben, would you like to talk about what you just said right there? <laughs> would you, let's just talk about how about the game tonight. What do you think? <laughs> Sorry about that mistake. AJ Townsend's not AJ Brown's father. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right Ben, you're getting a little like. Uh, <laughs> want some water? Yeah, let me take some water. And take a sip of water just to get himself back in the zone. Timeout. Timeout, Patriots. 28 to 18, 7 19 left in the fourth quarter. You know, Ben, since you were in the student section before, how would you describe the atmosphere on AJ Townsend's touchdown? They're electric. I mean, they're really supporting A.J. Townsend. A.J. Townsend even went up to the student section to hype the crowd up. So it's like going both ways to see this really electric energy makes me feel excited for G.A. football moving forward. Yeah, so we have actually a great group of super fans um, led by Izzy Casey and Madison DiStefano, I think. Yep. They really got all the fans out today. They sent emails to the school to get the crowd going. So... Any thoughts about that? It's really nice to see the students show out for these oh, games for sure. to really support the players. Yeah, and it obviously provides a big boost to the players, you know. Yes, and as we can see tonight. Proof of that college-like atmosphere. I know you were at Penn State with me a week ago, so I would compare this similar to Happy Valley, you know. Yep, we, me and Harrison were at the whiteout game last yep. weekend. It was super, super cool. I'm Harrison. Yep. I don't know about how. For the newer viewers, I mentioned that at the beginning, but my name is Harrison Steinberg. I'm here with Ben Getson. High snap again, but it's a pitch to Anthony Lara. He tries to get the angle as he cuts right. That was a great cut by Anthony Lara. A hard cut, to say. Yep. First and 10 Patriots. Ball is placed down at the 16-yard line. It looks like when they're getting the run going, they just keep feeding him. Anthony Lara. What's that saying? I was talking about Alice about with Ellis about earlier, what's that saying about feeding the rock? Like, give Chubb the rock? Or like yeah. Feed, feed, feed the head. beast. Feed the beast. Feed Thank the you. beast. That's, that's the saying. Feed the beast. And that beast right now is Anthony Lahr and Seamus Knox, a two-headed beast to say. You know that saying, Harrison, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right, and you know what they do say? Dogs bark and cats meow. That, yes, yes. Yeah, that's oh, kind of just saying like that everything is always, you know, you know. I love that saying. I'm going to now use and that now, in my vocabulary. And you know, you know what they also say? Don't break a sweat on the escalator. You know, that's kind of saying, like, you're already up. Don't even, like, 
Don't even put any like, you know, put your effort into it, but you don't have to break. Oh, yeah, 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 you don't have to work too hard. So that's what the Patriots yeah. are doing right now. You don't want to make a mistake right here. Right, you do We're not. in the red zone. Let's try to get a touchdown here. Hand off to Lari, cuts up the middle. Great blocking as he opens up the red C per se. He falls forward, still on his feet. But he's eventually down, short of the first down. Second and. So is my mic. What? Is my mic off. Yeah, that's a timeout for the Patriots. No, injury timeout. Yes, an injury timeout. Falcons player went down. That's a first end goal for the five-yard line for the Patriots when we return. It's never good to see any player hurt, even if it's on the opposing team. Yeah, obviously, but we've seen a lot of injuries tonight. Do you think that's due to the climate? Yeah, the rain is really coming down. Is and the field uh, might be a little slippery okay, for these yeah, players. Okay, yeah, a little slippery. Obviously, we are playing on turf. Yep. But luckily, he's, he limps off the field. So good for him. But the Patriots, more importantly, have a first and goal. They have a lead by 10 and would love to get another score to really put this game out of reach with 622 left in the fourth quarter. If they score a touchdown here, 35-18, to 17-point yeah. lead, it's like almost insurmountable for the Falcons to come back from that. Hey, can you spell that for me? Insurmountable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just focus on the game, Harrison. <laughs> and you are a jokester for sure. First and goal from the five-yard line. Hango Solara feeds the beast, and they do, but he's dragged back for a one- to two-yard loss. Great tackle that by tack the Falcons. That tack is made by Oscar Hajuk and Isaac Saffold. So that gives the Patriots a second goal movement back two yards. Second and seven. Second and goal. Clock winding down with 5.45 to go in the game. So great clock management by the Patriots. You know, they aren't like necessarily chewing clock, but they're really working that clock down with the time they have. So second and seven, second and goal. Snap goes to Lara. He cuts right. Touch he trips into the down, end zone. Patriots. Touchdown, Patriots. We have a new friend up here, Larry Zahn. What do you think about that touchdown? Absolutely wonderful. The cloud is rocking. Now it is 34 to 18. Lara wow. with the touchdown. That's Lara's second of the game. Yep. He has a lot of rushing touchdowns and a lot of yards. So, you know, feed the beast. That's correct. Now we have Jared Smith on for the extra point Jared for the Smith, Patriots. Nicknamed J-Mo, here to kick. He is 4 for 4 so far, hoping to make it a 5 for 5, knock on wood. And he makes it good. Five for five on extra points. A flawless day from Jerry Smith with 5.26 left to go in the game. Scores 35-18, Patriots. Been great game so far today. Yeah, it's been incredible. Incredible atmosphere. Again, touching on it, the first ever uh, game under the lights for Germantown yep. Academy. And tomorrow night, we'll see a similar atmosphere. A double header between a girls and boys. Will you be at the game tomorrow? Yes, I will be at the game in Obviously the student section. Of, yep, a lot of fans. I, I just I asked the question to my producer, Max, and he shook his head yes, too. We have a lot of people showing out for the games tomorrow. The team is white out, am I correct? I think it might be blackout again. Blackout again. I think it's white. We'll check the emails yeah, let's from the... Yeah, like zebra, like a zebra. Strike. Zebra? Yeah, zebra. That would oh be my god, cool. yo, yo, Cole Grimm, Cole Grimm, Cole Grimm. Cole, Cole Grimm, Grimm is ready to kick. Cole Grimm has mainly went for onside kicks today, and he's got one so far with a trick, you know, sped up play with a quick snap call, you know. So how far is this kick going to go if he doesn't onside it? I think he's onsiding it. I don't know how the petty Falcons has not caught on yet. Yeah. I think this will be another onside kick. Never mind. It's a sky kick. It's received by a fullback tight end. Oh, he is lit up. Big oh hit. Oh, my God. Number 58. Oh, it's a fumble. It's a the fumble, too. The ball was forced out by number 58. Kenny Lee. Kenny, Kenny Lee. Kenny Lee forced the fumble. Kenny Lee with a massive play. Pushes the Patriots into plus territory already. That was Kenny Lee who forced that fumble. And now the Patriots have better field 
Sorry, better territory than I could have ever hoped for. Am I right, Ben? Yes. Patriots take over on the opposing 25-yard line, first and 10. The As student the section. The student section is getting loud right now after that fumble recovery. Obviously, a great kick by Colgram set that up. It's an outside zone to Seamus Knox. He feds off a man. Cuts right. He's still on his feet. Falls down for a seven-yard gain. Go. It will be a second and four. Second and four from the 19 yard line. West got the motion, man. Knox in the backfield. Handoff is to Knox. He's just short of the first down, gains one yard. It'll be a third and three. Harrison, it feels like we were just here a moment ago. What do you think of GA Patriots special teams to get them into positive territory? Yeah, so a very strong point of GA special teams headlined by star players Ryan Strauss, Kenny Ely, and Eddie McGettigan. And they've honestly, you know, made the difference, you know. So now they have the ball to just totally put the game away to keep it bleak. So... Honestly, even great kicking from JMO, five on extra points, and Colgrim with some stellar punts in that onside kick. Snap, a little twist and twirl by Xavier Stern as the pass is complete. It's AJ Towson as he's dragged down by number 34, Connor Polchik. AJ down, staying in bounds, just keep milking the clock is what Coach Dents is saying to their team. Milk that clock for sure. Lock winding down from 335. Do you want to touch on Coach Dents and how he's done an incredible job Yeah, he tonight? has done an incredible job, along with uh, Coach Donahue. Yep. So, a great duo, you know. Now we have 35 points, and, you know, they're just begging for more. So, just a great, complete performance on a huge night, which looks like the Patriots moved to 5-0. and Don't jinx it, Harrison. You never know. High snap, handoff to Knox. That's a first down. Excuse me, was a first down. That's second and goal from the six yard line. So Knox replacing Lara and getting a lot of carries. Another injury. Oh, that's just, just awful. Eddie Falcon is down. Two fifty four before the timeout was called. It looks like the player from Petty is walking off under Always his own weight. Always great to see. Always great to see. Yep. 2.54 left in the game with the Patriots with a 17-point lead. Second and <coughs> second and five from the six-yard line. So not a big first down 
separation, you know. If they get the five, now they're just between the one and the end zone if they even need to get the first. Is it second and goal, Harrison, or second and five? I'm not exactly sure. You know, I don't know what's going on right now, but I feel like the GA section is getting a student section getting really loud right now. Yeah, of course. They want the, to close out the game right. very strong, and they're very close to the goal line. I don't know if the mic can pick this up, but it is very loud. Knox in the backfield. It's a play action fake. It's a screen pass. It's number 17. Number 17. Max Langsfeld. He's short of the goal line. One yard line for Max Langsfield. This will not move the chains. Third and short from the one yard line. And that is Langsfeld, the senior's first reception game. A fellow member of the JSA club. Yes, the JSA club. Lots of clubs at GA. Yeah, we had... Uh, history club leader Adrian DM on here before and you know shouting out a JSA member I think co-chair Max Langsfeld something like that Knox in the backfield he looks like he's hungry for the ball and he gets that lowers the shorter touchdown, touchdown Patriots wow that's the third rush touchdown for the game the first for Knox makes the score 41 to 18 with 142 left bit overkill but who cares you know just keep it trucking keep on trucking keep on chugging I think keep on chuck it, trugging trugging Tr <laughs> it's a mix I, of I both I know you're a smart guy but I didn't know you were writing a new vocab word. <laughs> all right you we know, have Jared Smith yeah Jared for the Smith. extra point okay. six for six knock on wood whoa whoa wait hold right, on it's not wood knock on some wood bro oh we're chilling all right we're six, good four, six pushes okay. the lead to 42 six for six. to that 18. sounds like a rumored deal coming to a McDonald's near you. Six for six? I've heard of the fo fo, -fo but how about the six for six? Hopefully that's coming to McDonald's soon. It is soon. truly getting cold. Paper's is, blowing all over the place, Harrison. It is obviously some updraft of some win, but, you know, whenever, like, you're, like, nervous, anxious, just know that Cole Grimm is coming up to take the cake his huge iron leg. Cole Grimm? I'm, I'm excited. I know you're friends with Cole Grimm, so yes. anything you'd say about what you like when you talk to him, like his charisma. Yeah, I mean he's in my English class. Yep. He really gives great insights to what we're talking a smart about. Smart student, a eh? yep. 4.0 kind of guy. Yep, something like that. Whatever the highest GPA yeah, is. What, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. No, whatever six point, <laughs> you know. So, you see, Cole Grimm's IQ just. Um, oh, it looks like they might be faking and on side again. No, they won't. It was just a delayed run-up. They did that same, you know, motion before, but now it's like Cole might be going for another onside kick. Who's your NFL comparison of Cole Grimm? Justin Tucker. No, no question about it. I agree with that. Best kicker in the league. And best kicker in the interact. Yeah, right in the interact. Oh wow, he booted this one deep, but he wanted him to return it. Oh wow, he is down. Like, let's talk about that. Like, come on, that's a great kick from Cole Grimm. Like, you don't see that happen often in high school where he forces the player to get down. Yep, it's different than the NFL, and it's just like college where if you are down, even if you didn't get contacted by another player, you are just down. The student section looks like it's ready to storm the field when this game ends with 1.41 to go. Student section currently on the track right behind the football field. Yeah, they are ready to go when this lot flows zero, but a little bit premature, I would say, with the end game and a lot of stoppages known to this sport. Fisher drops back, looks right. Pass complete, no, it's dropped. Wow. That just shows the night that Petty yeah. is having. The epitome of the night. This is just a lot of, what, how to say, uh, butterfingers, you know? <laughs> Classic. So, yeah, 135 to go. Patriots lead by a, a cool... Yeah. yeah, as we can see right now, the student section is just antsing to run on the field. We see this often on big wins, and especially this is a huge win, you know. First under the lights game, and no better way to celebrate. Huh? Yep. This will push the GA Patriots to 5 and 0, I believe, on I don't the know, season. That's correct. Fisher drops back. He's looking deep, but he scrambles. A huge hit. That's Jack Durkin on the hit, sophomore. 
a great guy, personally. Yep. So, they'll make it a third and four. Third and four. For the Falcons, the clock keeps on winding. Fisher drops back, looking up. Flag on the field, but it's complete. That's number two, Jacob Medive. There's a flag on the field. Under a minute to play now in regulation. Harrison's dead. That will move, the flag will actually move the Falcons back. Holding on the offense, that really sucks. That really sucks. So, it'll be a third and half of this is to a goal. So, it'll be a third and 11. No, no, sorry, they are at the 11. Third, third and, and 16. 14, I believe. 14, 14. 14? Yes, third, third and 14. Third and 14 from their own 11 yard line. The student section is chanting bye-bye to the other team as this game looks Fisher over. Fisher looks deep downfield. Interception! Oh, by and that will seal off the game. Pass was in 10 for Metive. But McKee picks up the ball. The strong safety takes the ball, and that will surely end the game. A great leap by the kid. You know, hopefully GA does more of these under the lights yeah. opportunities for Very the high. sports teams, including maybe in the spring for sports like baseball and tennis. Yeah, basketball too, field hockey, water polo, soccer. We'll see it all in here. Maybe some golf under the lights. And Stern just takes a knee. And that must surely... Does that end the game? That might as well just end the game. And that ends the game. GA Patriots will take the win. Final score, 42 to 18. So a huge, great performance by the Patriots. They engage in a great sign of sportsmanship, a handshake line. The student section is ready. They charge the field. There we go. They're charging the field with the GA flag. Wow, just a great sight to see. That would be a 42-18 to 18 win for the Patriots. For the commentator, I'm Harris Steinberg. Thank you for watching. For my co-commentators, Ben Getson, Ellis Johnson, and Adrian DM on the camera. Also Ellis Johnson and Danny Gass and Larry Zahn. And on the graphics, that was Max Davis. So thank you, and have a good night. We'll be back tomorrow for girls and boys soccer. Go.